Hi, today we're going to talk about harnessing your dog in either freight weight or carting harness. These are the two major types of harnesses that um, I use in drafting with my dog. This one is called a freight weight and this one is called a carting harness. Both of them work pretty much the same, but there are a few minor differences between the two. The freight weight harness comes in one piece and I feel that it tends to get tangled less easily. Um, unfortunately, the disadvantages are that you have to take the entire thing off your dog. The carding harness comes in many pieces, and it is easier to get your dog out of um, the cart, in my opinion. This particular one has quick release straps, and you can also unsnap the traces more easily. Um, unfortunately, this one has a lot more pieces, it seems, and it can be a little bit more difficult to put together. When you first get your harness, don't be afraid, it will take about one to two hours to get everything sized to your dog. That's very normal. You might feel frustrated after a while and you might not understand where all the straps go, but hopefully this video will be helpful. Hi, this is Mouse. I'm going to first demonstrate a freight weight harness on Mouse. Now with the freight weight harness, you have the part that goes around the neck here, and you also have this piece that goes under where the chest is, and you want to make sure you have both of those opened up. So what I typically do is I put it on my dog's head. Good boy. And then make sure that this is free of burrs, this neck piece is free of burrs, and it's all turned to the correct side. And then you'll notice here that this strap should go down the center of the dog's chest. And then what you'll do is that you'll pull the dog's leg, and I usually grab right here on the dog, and he naturally lifts it for me already, and pull it just like that. I'll do the same thing with the other side. Grab right there and pull through. This freight weight is just a hair too small for him, but you can get an idea of what it looks like. So, on the freight weight, these are called the primary traces. This strap here and this strap here. You're gonna have four straps. One here, one here, and then you're gonna have the same thing on the other side, here and here. You want these straps to be free of kinks, uh, free of anything else that might impede it from pulling, because this is where your dog's pull power is going to come from, is these four straps. Now with that said, this is the Ford Cinch. Now on this one, this does not have the quick release straps. As you can see, it's just a little uh, spacer here, and the shafts will go right through this hole, but you do have to pull the shafts in and out. You can't snap a button and it comes right off. What you're going to do is take the cinch loop, you're going to insert this into the cinch loop, and you're going to make sure it goes under the traces. So you have the upper primary, you have the lower primary. You want to make sure that this does not get on top of here, that you don't put this on top, because then you kind of have a kink where your dog should be getting the pull power. And then you want to snap this on. It should be snug, but not too snug. So this is much too snug for mouse. I can barely get fingers in it. It's much too tight. You do not want it this tight. Um, you do want to make sure that where the shaft loops are, it's right about the shoulders here, because this is where your shaft will go. So this is a freight weight harness, and you'll also notice that the spreader bar is here. Now, the way that I take this off my dog is that I will unsnap the front cinch, so that's free. I lift the spreader bar up over the dog, grabbing the neck piece here right on top, and then I just push my dog's head through, and my dog can step right out. In the case of emergency, that is a very quick way to get your dog out of a freight weight harness. I'm going to talk about the carding harness. Um, sometimes this is also called the drafting harness. There's um, a couple of different styles. You, this one is made out of plain webbing. You can also get them in leather, and you can also get one made by uh, Wilchex. It's a Wilchex design that's a little bit different. I'm not going to show you that today. I may show you that in a different video. Um, with the carding harness, the pieces can be a little bit more confusing. So this is kind of the main body piece. And this is the forward cinch loop. Here's some traces, and here's the belly band. And this is a spreader bar that I've made. And it looks like a big mess right now, but we'll go through each piece. So this is the main body. So again, very similar to the freight weight. You have your neck piece. 
And then this is the piece that goes around the bottom. It's on the chest. And I'm going to open that up as well as the neck piece. Hold it like this and put it right over my dog's head. Make sure that's nice and snug. So you do want it to be snug but not too tight. You don't want it to be too tight. I'm going to grab his paw here, pull that through, and I'm going to grab the paw here on this side and pull that through. Now this harness, um, I typically take about two hours to adjust it to my dog and after it is adjusted the way I like, I take um, some needle and thread and just do a little simple stitch right here so it doesn't unravel and it doesn't move around on me. So mouse is in the first body piece. Again, you have your lower primary trace, your top primary trace. Um, these are the things that I call these different straps. I know other people use different words, but all the same function. So this is where my dog's pull power will come from, is these four straps. You want to make sure that they're even so that the weight that the dog is pulling is even so that he's not pulling a little bit more on one side and a little less on the other side. Now, this is the top loop where the cinch, the forward cinch, will go into. You want to make sure that this forward cinch is snug, but again, not too tight around the dog. This particular one does have what I call a quick release strap. So what will happen in these is this is where the shaft loop goes. If my dog is in an emergency, I can quickly undo the snap and it's gone. I can get my dog out of cart quickly. So this is what I call the quick release. I do like it because you can adjust it independently of the length of the cinch. That way you don't mess up the length of the cinch, but you can still move around the sides right here. Um, and also you want to make sure that these are small enough so that it doesn't go through the brake. You want your shaft to go through, but you don't want to go over the top of your brake. Mouse, pop, pop. Come on, pop, pop. Good boy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this through the cinch loop. this, thread that right through, and then I'm going to buckle it on the underside of my dog. Good boy. Make sure that is under your primary traces. See, I can look my traces here. Your cinch loop is going to go under. Good boy. Make sure you got that nice and snug. And you want to make sure that these shaft loops are about at shoulder height where the shafts are going to go. You're going to make sure that's the same on both sides. It should hit about the same point on both sides. It's right at shoulder. So the primary traces go over that. The next thing that we're going to do is get the belly band or the rear cinch. And there's this little, little opening right here. And I just thread that right through. Thread it around to the other side. And I give that a snap. Now I have two traces here. It's very important that the two traces are the same length so that your dog's weight, that the weight that your dog is pulling is evenly distributed on both sides. So it's not that one side is shorter and the dog's pulling more with one side than the other. That can lead to pulled muscles or soreness or um, other types of issues. And that will simply snap on here and here. I personally like to snap the spreader bar, otherwise called a tree. I like to snap this onto the cart already and just hook this to the dog when he's already in the cart. That will be the next video. To take off this particular um, harness, if I already have my dog out of cart, I can quick release and he's out of the shafts. And I can quick release right here. I'll just unsnap here and unsnap here. Grab right in here and then ooh, right over my dog's head. See? That's it. 